Jack Thompson, the now disbarred attorney who went on a crusade against violent and sexual video games and sought them to be banned and otherwise restricted, has made a surprising appearance on the My Perfect Console podcast. Thompson has never changed his views on games, but in his new interview, Thompson, who is now 72 years old, has revealed that not all of his views about games are negative, and he has in fact called them arguably the greatest teaching tool ever invented. When asked if games can have positive effects, as well as negative ones, Thompson says, I've seen how it helps kids with disabilities, learning disabilities and in other ways. You know, technology is an amazing thing. I just saw Oppenheimer, which I think deserves the Oscar for Best Picture. Amazing movie in so many ways. And let's take nuclear fission. It can incinerate a city, or it can illuminate a city. So technology is neutral. What is done with it in the hands of malevolent or indifferent or good people is determined by that motive in what's done, but the technology is neutral. Video games are arguably the greatest teaching tool ever invented by virtue of the fact that the graphics now are cinematic in quality. Virtual reality, reality doesn't look as good as virtual reality, arguably. And you've got the interactive nature of video games is what makes them so incredibly powerful. You are doing something, you are not passively watching a movie. You're actively a character in that movie, or you're actively learning an important subject you need to learn. So I'm all for for the technology, I think what we do with the technology is the point, not the technology being the problem. Newer gamers may not be aware of just how infamous Jack Thompson was during the 2000s and the many controversies he was involved in, prior to being disbarred from practicing law in 2008. It is rare to hear from Thompson in recent times, and it is interesting to see that at least not all of his views about video games are negative. The full podcast will be released on March 26th. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, thank you for watching.